stop for a second. The way you're studying right now might not help you much. Reading your notes, going over your textbook, and highlighting words. You've probably been doing this for years. But research is very clear. Some study methods are much more effective than others. Instead of spending hours looking for what works, I've already done that for you. In this video, you'll learn the top five techniques to study better and faster than others around you. If you really want this to work, don't just watch. Start doing as you go. This is the first part of a free five-part study series to help you become your best as a student. And the best part? It's free for everyone. We believe you shouldn't have to pay for good study tips. Schools should have taught you already. But don't worry. We've got you. Just subscribe to our channels and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming lessons. Now, let's begin. Did you know some people are so good at remembering things they actually compete in memory tournaments? They're called memory athletes. In one contest, they had to remember 72 random words in 20 minutes. The pros remembered around 71. The regular people? Just 26. There's also a man named Akira Haraguchi, who was almost 70 years old. In 2006, he said over 111,000 numbers of pi from memory for 16 hours straight. So what's their secret? They use a simple trick called a memory palace. And you can too. Start by imagining a familiar place, like your house. Put images or objects in different spots. Then, connect what you want to remember with those objects. So next time you need to recall class notes, you don't just think about the notes. You remember where you placed that info inside your house. It sounds strange at first, but your brain remembers images and places really well. It's a powerful way to study smarter. Did you know some people are so good at remembering things they actually compete in memory tournaments? They're called memory athletes. In one contest, they had to remember 72 random words in 20 minutes. The pros remembered around 71. The regular people? Just 26. There's also a man named Akira Haraguchi, who was almost 70 years old. In 2006, he said over 111,000 numbers of pi from memory for 16 hours straight. So what's their secret? They use a simple trick called a memory palace. And you can too. Start by imagining a familiar place, like your house. Put images or objects in different spots. Then, connect what you want to remember with those objects. So next time you need to recall class notes, you don't just think about the notes. You remember where you placed that info inside your house. It sounds strange at first, but your brain remembers images and places really well. It's a powerful way to study smarter. Some students use smart study habits. Others get stuck using the wrong ones. Let me ask, is reading something again and again really effective? Is highlighting helpful? What about using fun memory tricks? Actually, studies say these are not the best ways to remember things for a long time. What does work? Things like practice tests and spaced learning are proven to help you do much better. One study in 2005 looked at over 200 students who used 11 different study techniques. They compared these habits to the students' final scores. Some things like studying more hours helped, but others, like reading before or after class, didn't help much. Even listening to music while studying hurt their results. But one thing made a huge difference. How often students tested themselves. Students who did more practice tests got much better exam scores. On the other hand, rewriting notes or reading again and again didn't really help that much. So ask yourself, are you using the best strategies? Have you ever started something, stopped halfway, and then couldn't stop thinking about it? That's called the Zygarnik effect. It's a psychology idea that says we remember unfinished tasks better than finished ones. Why? 
because when we pause before we finish, our brain keeps thinking about the task. It stays in our mind, ready to be picked up again. So if you want to remember something better, don't study for hours without stopping. Instead, take short, smart breaks. That small feeling of, I still need to finish this, actually helps you focus and remember more. Try doing this. Study for a while, then stop and do something totally different. Take a three-minute walk, play a song, read a different topic. A common method is the Pomodoro Technique. Work for 25 minutes, then rest for five, then repeat. This keeps your brain fresh and helps your memory. Let's talk about cramming. Studying for seven hours in one day isn't better than studying one hour a day for seven days. Even if the total time is the same, spacing your study helps you remember more. This is called distributed practice. It means spreading your learning across time, not squeezing it all into one session. One huge research review looked at 254 studies with over 14,000 people. They found students remembered more after spaced learning than after cramming. So space your study. Even if it's a little each day, it makes a big difference. Also, don't forget the basics. Get enough sleep, eat healthy, exercise, and explain what you're learning to others. Stop checking your phone every five minutes. Stay focused. Use these proven techniques. Now you know what works. Now you need to act every single day.